Hey guys, welcome back to another part. We are heading to the terminal over there. To see what we find. We will have to get a tugboat. Ah, nope. We will first be getting this stuff. Thank you very much. There's also a boat over there, right? Or is... Oh no, it's like a derelict boat. What is wisdom? I think wisdom might be to quickly do a... Oh shit, what's that? Looks a bit radioactive uh, over there. Um, but that is where I need to go, right? Yeah, approximately. In that big building. The thing is, I will... Yeah, shall I quickly sleep to autosave? Did I do... Yeah, I did collect some stuff over there. If I die now, do I have to do a lot over? Yeah, it's just a bit annoying. So I will just sleep it off till the next night and get the autosave going. There's a body lying over there on that to the left side of the middle a bit on that little uh, concrete support beam. I think they also could have incorporated some kind of food mechanic in this game. I don't think that would have been out of place course it would be a bit weird to find unradiated food in a world like this but still maybe some tin cans or something canned food all right please leave me alone shrimps that would be very helpful Ah, there was also in the terminal, apparently, some kind of secret room from the fish uh, people, adorers. So I have to be mindful of that. I got a key from a dude that I saved. Alright, this looks pretty inhospitable. But let's just strut on forward. Can we get out here? Nope. Man, it looks really great this game. It looks thick. It looks like details. Let's put the light out. Alright, I see fire over there. Can I get out over here? No, not really. I need to get rowing. Row wing. Of course dangerous to put on the light here if you're not sure whether there are hostiles this does seem to be some kind of temple holy shit God damn it I hate those guys This used to be a fishing temple or the from the fish worshippers, 
fish god worshippers. But currently it's overrun with zombies. I'm not really sure how you call them. I think I read something about human animals. Like a contraction of human and animal. There's a bell over there. But I cannot get there from here. There's some weird... Markings. There are some overturned... I'm not even sure what these are. These are not overturned cards. This is some kind of machine. Probably some kind of loading machine. Ah, no, it are just tracks because they are also over there and there's like a little cart in that one over there. It's like to turn around upside down the railway carts i have no idea but all right there seems to be only one way forward and that is straight ahead where the light is over there and again i have no idea how many ammunition i have for instance, if I now encounter one of those black zombies, I feel pretty strong with like this gun I have over here. It's pretty effective. But I have no idea how many bullets I have left in it. I think this one still has quite some, but it's not silenced currently. And this one also, I have no idea how many there are still in there. But whatever. Let's put the light out and see where we get to. All right, that bridge looks pretty fumble, feeble, unstable. There. I think there could be a boss fight over here. But there are fires as well, so I don't think those human animals or those zombies create fires. So I think that might be that there might also be humans in here. By the way, there was an autosave. I actually was expecting that, to be honest. So sleeping before getting here wasn't actually required. The hell? Ah. All right, there's for sure something in the water. Really well done. That makes traversing this place Pretty edgy or tense. So we have zombies and we have something in the water. Ah, that's one of the, the big fish. Screw those. All right. The hell is that? Nothing. Right. What the hell? Holy 
shit. Did that attract more? God damn it, a jump scare. All right, I at least know that I have no weapons bullets left in that one, right? Oh, I do. I simply didn't get to reloading mid fight. And the bad part is that I'm wounded without I'm wounded without any health items. No more of these guys. Come on. This is annoying. Pretty sure this won't be the last one. All right. This one is almost out. Could use a working bench. Man, that's an effective gun. But if I press the reload button, nothing happens. So I'm afraid I'm also on my last bullets with that this gun. So maybe it's best if I start using this one. Holy shit. Anything in here, guys? Hello, hello. Maybe in here. All right. Good thing. I think I'm still going with this one. So those water or those zombies, they actually hide in the water, assholes. Alright, we have two directions. Ah, this is might be the room with the key that I got. Let's check it out. Yes, very nice. That's because I explored those hostages. So it really pays off to... Um, it really pays off to listen to what NPC says. Because th there was like this NPC in that railway cart saying like, yeah, there are some hostages over there. Hint, hint. Because if I wouldn't have explored that a section first, this section would be way harder because now I actually have like a night fishing thing going Sam Fisher style I'm not too sure if it's such a big help but and also not sure whether this one uses electricity probably it does um, but it would have made it way harder over here without having first obtained this key. So that's cool. All right, nothing to interact with over there. Although I was hoping for a workbench as well. Agents provokes pronounced pathologies in the crustacean and mollusk young, which quickly proved to be fatal. Yet the catfish hatchlings in the test basin have not only survived and remained completely unharmed, but quite unexpectedly have overtaken the control groups in terms of growth by a factor of at least four. The agents does not seem to impact the pelagic fish species that much. The perch and roach young have shown a marginal increase in growth with no apparent negative effects. All right, somebody was doing research. Good stuff. We have an autosave, also good stuff. But now I would really like to have 
a workbench. Alright, we can get up over there. Ah, now I can reload this one. Didn't work earlier. Watching out for booby traps. Seeing if I can open them up. Holy shit, this is a small casket with a little teddy bear. It's a child. Pretty sad stuff. Anything here, peoples? What's this? Some stuff. And a dude. It's also not a good sign. That a pretty fighting age man over there. died in this room in the sense that does that say a lot about our own chances in here it's a bit weird lighting anomaly over there but whatever anything here nope all right i'm a bit mixed about going forward here or going backwards to that other side there was also uh, a ladder over there let's just check it out over here maybe we will get to a safe room i mean we are still in the section that required the key um, does look a bit gloomy close off thank you cannot interact with that one Alright, so that is simply a no-go area, maybe it's for when I get all the way around, that for people that did not obtain that key yet, that at the end of this structure, if you go all the way around, that you still have an option to access this area, that could be, I'm not sure. Anyways, let's turn off the light and also I wonder whether with the night vision goggles you can see those monsters hiding. That would be pretty handy. Hiding in the water. see how fast the this one goes down doesn't seem to go down that fast with the night vision enabled all right we can get further up or we can It's over here. Nope. There's actually... Yeah, unless... I want to reach that dude. Don't think it's really possible. He does seem to have goodies. How the hell am I supposed to get there? Can I climb up on there? 
Shall we try it? Alright, can get through here. There's a dude over there. One dude down. I think this is where we came from, right? Yes. What does this mean? Does this mean my battery is low? Yes. It's good to know. This game does have a lot of audio cues. It's so much more immersive without a hut even to just go with the audio cues you really have to pay attention but once it gets second nature it's really a lot more interesting why can't i get up there come on archon all right this is a bummer this is like uh, maybe I should use that that broken stairs over there because this is really like an anti-climax. I was actually looking forward to getting up there. Can't I just jump up here a bit higher, like so? Holy shit, this is a pretty dangerous spot, I would say. Falling in the water with that fish swimming about. Anyways, and then just... Ah, shit, nope. No, I think I just have to... Um, get there from on top. And that's also... Otherwise, I would also be able to climb back down of, uh, on there which also doesn't seem to be the case because otherwise there would not have been this convenient collapsed walk path over there so yeah i got what the hell is this ah. that helped and does this do anything else I thought I had to get there from over there from over that that's also probably an option but pulling that handle holy shit was a lot easier Right, you start eating and I start throwing. Holy shit. That guy took a lot. That was, I think, a, a black one. check it out was this a black one yes so they take three knives or two knives and two bullets the hell is this is this a new gun let's check it out the hell do we have here this is also a bastard but with some Extended magazine. All right. I am checking the time. Five minutes left. Let's get the. What did I drop down for it? Ah, this is also a bastard. Let's just. 
get the modifications. I can also still... Oh no, I thought it was a walkway, but that's not a walkway. The thing is... Holy shit. They are pretty cool enemies. Holy shit. Um, the idea is I can get up there. There was, I think, also still... A way up. Over there. But I could also just go up over here, of course. Although that means crossing that feeble bridge. We are reaching Holy shit, those murals really get drawn in with a delay. Check it out over there. Poof, there they are. Here we go again. Poof, there they are. Alright, we have like an autosave, which is a good thing. I will go there later, but first I'm going to check it out over there, where that takes us. There was also a way up over here. By the way, weird apparatus. This is like to... Ah, it's probably just indeed to um, put a railway cart on its side and then just empty it into a boat or something. Some kind of loading station. Nope. All right. Cannot really use it anymore. No. All right, let's check out the stairs over here. The rest we already did. We're good on the electricity front. And anything here worthwhile? Not really. Let's check the map where our objective is. Ah, that's actually where our objective is, is over there. I thought for sure it would have been over there. So I always tend to first do the side stuff and then the main objective. And now I'm way closer to the main objective, so I'm not really sure what to do. Let's check it out. Ah, this is a dead end over here. So, holy shit, is this a monster? Nope. So this was... Holy shit, check those murals. One, two, three. Ah, now they stay loaded in. No. Man, there's a bit of a delay. Anyways, the objective is, I think, over here. No, the objective is... Cool that it's real time, by the way. The objective is over there. And there's apparently... Maybe it's the card over there that we need to obtain. Let's check it out. Yes, that could very well be what we are looking for. But that also means that we have to run around. And this is indeed a car wagon full of coal. And it will simply be put on its sides and emptied into a boat. Pretty simple but effective uh, apparatus, these cylinders. That like turn over whole railway carts like it's a simple uh, bucket all right hitting the 30 minute marker uh ending it here and immediately continuing it in the next episode guys hope you enjoyed hope to see you there and do keep on gaming see you later